Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be going over the Acer A510 Olympic Edition. Uh, so this just recently came out, and it is going for $449 for a 32-week model. Now I went over most of the aesthetics in the unboxing, but just to quickly go over again, you have stereo speakers right here on the bottom with Adobe Sound. You have a 5 megapixel camera right here at the top. You have a micro HDMI. You have a micro SD card slot plus a reset button. And this little hinge always a little bit difficult. You have a, oh, sorry, there was a reset button. That was not a reset button over there. Uh, you have a micro USB, which also does come with a micro USB to female USB adapter, which allows you to connect a flash drive, hard drive, keyboard, mouse, or anything such as that to it. You also have a headphone port right here along with the power button. And a little toggle switch uh, for volume and uh, screen lock orientation. Now when you turn it on, one of the first things to note is uh, you get this really nice uh, circle which allows you to go right to your favorite apps uh, on unlock. So you can actually just go right to the web browser, so which will be one of the first things we're looking at, right from here. And then you just pop up and you go straight to the web browser. So that's pretty nice, uh, just so you can go straight to your favorite apps and it is customizable. So I definitely like it. In terms of uh, web browsers, it's pretty quick. Uh, just going on the stock one, I usually recommend Chrome, of course. But just to give you an idea of more what it looks like, as soon as it would load the page, it'll be quicker, of course, but you know. So, a little choppy at times, but usually it's a little bit quicker than this, but this is a heavy flash page, so that's probably why it's kind of overreacting or underreacting, I would say. Um, but overall, very sharp, um, and just having a little bit of hiccups right now. Normally does not do this bad. So, just to give you a better idea of how typically it would move. And this is a mobile page, so I won't zoom in. But um, overall, web browsing is pretty good on it. Could be better. I have seen better even in the um, a little bit recent tablets that I use, like the Asus uh, Transformer 300. Web browsing is a little bit better. This one, it's good, but um, I would say not as fluid uh, with more heavy flash websites. Now, other things to go about. Uh, Built-in apps, you have a few of Acer's apps, such as Acer's Print. Um, basically, three apps that do similar things. Uh, the bottom two basically transfer over um, what's on here to a smart TV using DLNA. And the top one's more like a music uh, Spotify kind of device. So, or app, I should say. Now, besides that, it does have a quad-core processor which is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, uh, which is really nice. It's a Tegra 3, so it moves uh, fairly quickly. You also have a little Acer ring right here which allows you to do certain things, uh, create shortcuts. The, again, these are customizable. Um, it originally comes with screenshot, web browser, camera, and settings, I believe. But you can customize it to see how you see fit. You also have a brightness toggle right here. And you have your favorite websites uh, bookmarks right here. So, pretty useful ring, and you can use it at any time. In terms of other built-ins, uh, it's going to be, for the most part, it. But uh, let's go straight into how it actually sounds and uh, how the camera looks. So first sound, in terms of music, the Adobe really does stand out with the player. And let's see how... So this is at full volume, pretty decent. I definitely like the stereo speakers, which I have often said that every tablet should have. Um, it just gives a much better uh, sound. In terms of being loud, it's not the loudest I've heard, but uh, definitely clear, and that's one thing I give it a lot of credit for. So, in terms of the camera itself, let's just see a couple of shots that I took. Now let's rotate that. So, in terms of clarity and low light, um, in low light, you can see there is a lot of noise in terms of it. However, let's go to a little bit better lit and see how it turns out. 
a little bit sharper on here. You can uh, see not as much fuzziness. Overall, it is a 5 megapixel camera. The clarity is not going to be the best, but uh, good enough for just a quick shot um, when you're on the go. Now, in terms of movies, uh, again, the Dolby sound really comes out nice because of the stereo. Again, not the loudest we've seen, but definitely going to be one of the, um, the best qualities. So, just to kind of again turn it up. Gentlemen, what are you prepared to do? Videos look really good. Color on this screen is going to be no offense, better. Than the A200 uh, version of this tablet. However, again, just um, still not as uh, vibrant as other tablets such as the Asus or the Samsung uh, in comparing to color uh, reproduction. Now, other than that, what is the best decision for you with this tablet? Well, it is priced at $449, uh, which um, is really good, especially for a quad core and uh, would have sold amazingly uh, at the beginning of the year. However, now it has a lot of competition coming straight for it. Uh, one being the Asus uh, Transformer 300, which is a $50, uh, $50 less and essentially has the same thing. Um, the only one advantage they would have over other tablets is its battery life. The battery life uh, lasts for about 10 and a half hours. So it's the longest battery life I know of uh, on a tablet currently right now for a 10 inch. Of course the reigning king is still the 7.7 .7 Samsung tab with a 12 hour video playback. Um, but uh, definitely one of the longest battery lives I've seen, especially on a 10 inch, the longest battery life. So really well off. Um, it just for the price point, it's arguable whether it's worth it for 449 my guess is that what will happen is the same thing that happened last year. Acer did not sell almost any of its first tablet until it dropped down to $399. And I see that being the same instance for this one. Just because a lot of competition coming from Asus, Samsung, as well as Toshiba, it just might get lost in the clutter. Alright guys, if you have any other questions on any specifics on the Acer uh, A510, Feel free to ask, and please subscribe so you can always hear the responses. This has been RCKY, the Android Guy.